back to the channel so I know I am a sight for sore eyes well probably for some I'm at my sister's house and she has the same battery in her uh, fire detector so please try to ignore that while I'm talking <laughs> um, it's super annoying anyways I am back today with some tennis ball hair you know giving you guys scissor vibes um, Kim Kardashian vibes you know it's really been trending a lot I've seen um, I've actually seen this color hair before they even like did it but it's kind of bringing it more into the limelight so the company I am working with today is called Ali Annabelle on AliExpress. So I had their 613 hair and I have three bundles in a frontal. So I have 20, 22, and 24, and then a 20 inch frontal, of course, that I plugged and stuff. You might see some makeup in my baby hairs because I decided to do my makeup and I got some on there on accident though. They sent me this hair. So shipping with this company, it took took about three days it was through FedEx and then I got it made it to a wig and now you are seeing this so the main tutorial about this is you know how I got this vibrant color and I did it with watercolor so I finally tried that method and it was very successful um I do see that some parts of the hair look at certain angles it looked darker green than like the rest but in person it's a true highlighter true tennis ball color so I really really am enjoying that so enough of my rambling um, I will leave my bundle deal as well as my color that I used in the description but this method is very I really love this method a lot this hair this hair has been with standing um, and it held up pretty good getting um, you know dyed and stuff and it didn't shed a lot I, I expected more shedding from 613 hair but this did not shed so I will leave you know the bundle deals below for y'all for 613 hair and don't forget to check them out on Aliexpress if you guys love this color please let me know give it a fat thumbs up and I hope I help you guys out and I love you guys so much and I will see you on the next video so as you guys can see I'm starting off with the three bundles um, I did decide to do it with just the bundles I feel like it would be easier versus doing like a whole wig and the dye that I'm using is by kiss in the color limelight I'll try to find a link for you guys in the description and I just want to say I only use two out of the four bottles so this method is very effective so basically I did mix a little bit of conditioner into the dye just because I wanted it a little lighter I felt like it was too dark um, so what that does, it just kind of changes the color a little bit. But I feel like either way, it still would have came out this tennis ball green. Because if you look at the color on the bottle, you know, it's the same. So the water, when I did it each time, it was fairly hot. But not too hot to where like it would burn your hands. But you will need gloves for this. And basically, I just you just put in how much dye you're going for, I guess. Um, I put in like three or four spoons every time but this first time was a fail because I didn't let it sit long enough and you guys are gonna see that the hair in there but I like dipped the hair instead of like keeping it in there and letting the color like transfer so don't do that just when you dip it massage your fingers through it and make sure like it's touching each you know strand or whatever and then let it sit and throughout the video on the next time I do it I'm gonna do it um and I'm gonna let it sit for 10 minutes I didn't record that but 
that gave me the color that I was going for and I did have to do this over actually after the first time because the color did not transfer the way that I thought so don't like rush it just put it in and let it stay This is after I let it sit the second time like for 10 minutes um, you don't have to do 10 minutes actually I just did it just to make sure the color locked in because I was scared um, this is the first time I did it and I took a picture and look at that color you guys it was so vibrant and I was so happy so basically I'm just gonna continue those steps um, with the water again and finish with my bundles and like I said I only use two bottles versus the four that I would usually use if I put the dye on dry so that was very cost effective and you can save a lot of coins by doing this method on 613 here This is what I meant when I said I massaged, you know, the hair. Um, you have to make sure the water and the color touches, you know, each strand because if not, it will be like 613 highlights and green and it won't look right. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I did that for about a minute every time. And here I'm just showing you guys how vibrant the color is and it looked so good. And when it dried, it was even more vibrant. Um, also, I want to say I didn't record me doing the frontal, but the frontal was the same. The frontal did not get tinted in any way, so that was great. Um, it took to the color just as well. So, I hope this method helps you guys. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a big fat thumbs up. And don't forget to check out Allie Annabelle.